All right, folks. The original complaint on this car is the uh, brakes, the floor pedal, or the brake pedal going to the floor. Take a look over here. Bring the camera down. As you can see, this little metal device is the sensor to tell you if your brake shoes are worn down. That metal device would then come in contact with the disc brake here, and that would start to squeak to let you know your shoes are worn down. In this case, I've got at least a solid quarter inch there brake shoe left, and I see absolutely no leaks anywhere along this line here of the uh, brake lines or any uh, brake fluid coming out of the disc caliper. So, and it's the same thing on the other side. Don't see anything like that. So, wheels go back on. I jack up the back, and we're going to check that next. All right, folks. Here's the other half of this left side of this Pontiac Bonneville 2001. Again, the brake pedal going to the floor, trying to find out a cause. Again, the brakes here are not worn out. If you can see the little device, it is a good quarter inch away from the disc. This little metal piece right there has this gap right there against the disc brake. That gap. It's going to stay there till the shoe wears out. And then when that metal comes in contact here, you'll hear the squeak, and then you know it's time to change your disc brake pads. Again, looking around this entire wheel assembly, they see no leakage of brake fluid. I assume that the disc brake calipers are good. They're not leaking. So again, we're going to put the tire back on, and then we're going to check the back. Okay, folks, car's wheels are back on the front of the car, but I want to point this out to you people who may be new to auto repair or fairly new at it, trying to do a lot of self-study. I've been doing a lot of self-auto repair for 30 years, so I'm just pointing out some things. Always chalk the back tire with a brick or something before you jack it up. That way it doesn't roll back off on you. Especially as I've got a sloping driveway, that doesn't help. Okay folks, got the back of the car jacked up. I checked the driver's side, this is the passenger side. Again, I see absolutely no leakage of brake fluid, and the brake fluid re reservoir is still pretty full. So the sponginess on the brakes, I believe I'm contributing to the rear brake disc pads are um, close to needing replacement. They're not totally worn. Uh, the other side looks like the sensor is pretty close to catching and that's probably what I was hearing. When I was driving it, I only heard it when backing up, kind of a groaning sound. And only when the brakes were applied. Kind of an odd sound like when brakes are wearing out. Not exactly what I'm used to hearing, but this is a different car. This is one I've not driven before. So I am going to uh, read my Chilton's manual on the rear brakes looking for anything particular there that i got to watch out for because of the electronic components in this car. Everything's in the clear. I'm going to go ahead and buy some disc brake pads and replace these on the back.